です。Yeah, well, I don't like it either. But, um, got some polyurethane. It's out in the kitchen, soaking into the floor. But, um, I'm, I'm trying to, that's why my cat's sneezing. He's like, What's that crazy smell, Dan? Why are you putting up with that smell? It's gonna be like that for days. It's gonna take me to do the whole floor in here. You know, um,. Yeah, I was doing a news read. I usually don't check this news that I get in uh, my email inbox on Newsmax because, you know, Newsmax is fascist propaganda. But, um, you know, every once in a while they're, they're covering something that I want to read about because, you know, I'm anti empire and, um, you know, they're pro empire, but they're like pro right wing of the empire. So, you know, every once in a while they're reporting something on the left wing of the empire and, you know, trying to, yeah, uh, trying to facilitate the the drive towards the the hard right, the the billionaires' capacity to to just dominate by brutal force. But um, they they have this article on on the um, Fast and Furious situation, and they have this picture of Obama beside it. It's just an advertisement. But doesn't he look very... I don't know. I didn't know anything about Fast and Furious. Anyhow, uh, it's actually pretty good news about the Fast and Furious situation. Uh, saying that they're going to uh, finally hold Eric Holder in contempt. And... Um, I don't know, this is the part of this story that is actually very interesting. I'm going to scroll down to it. Oh, here it is. Um, one confidential witness told Congress that he overheard Scott Thomason, chief ATF spokesman, say early on in the congressional inquiry into Fast and Furious, we need to get whatever dirt we can on these guys, the whistleblowers, and take them down. A 17-page uh, briefing paper accompanying the complaint says. Uh, they go on to say, a uh, concerted effort at retaliation against the ATF whistleblowers that um, since, since the first time that they were told to let guns walk, they were like, oh no, you don't let guns walk? What are you guys, crazy? And, um... You know, like, they they accepted the orders, and then, you know, they complained about it to their command, and their command just told them to do it again. And they they did this over and over again for years and years, until one of them find out that uh, one of the border agents, who had been a Secret Service agent, or, um, no, his, uh, his cousin was a Secret Service agent, uh, Brian Terry, uh, that... Yeah, border agent. Uh, he oh, he had been in the in the military. He had been to I forget if it was Iraq or Afghanistan, but um, he uh, yeah he he had been a service member for a long time, and so you know these uh, these ATF agents they they really you know understood the plight of you know him losing his life to you know, their treachery. You know that they were going along with these orders to let guns walk. You know, even though they were complaining about it to their command, you know, um, you know, personally, I think that they they should have just quit. They should have been like, well, you know, I guess I'll just spend the rest of my life just you know publishing against you guys and saying how grossly corrupt all this was. But um, you know, instead of instead of doing that, you know, they did it for like a couple years, but they were complaining consistently to their bosses every time they would tell them to let guns walk. They were telling them, you know, this is not the right thing to do. You know, this is this is not proper procedure. This is not what police do. You know, uh, ATF agents do not let guns just walk away. You know, that are suspected as having been acquired by criminal means. You know, that uh, these people they were buying like automatic assault rifles, cop killer guns, which shoot um, they shoot armor piercing bullets. Uh, they they were letting straw buyers buy numerous of these guns at a time, 
and then just walk away with them and not track the guns at all. There was not even any plan to track the guns. And they, they had done this over and over again for years. But, um, you know, after Agent Terry was killed, then they, uh, they contacted Congress. They were like, you know, that's enough. You know, we, we can't take any more of this. You know, um, you know, probably they were looking at it thinking like, you know, this is going to be us someday. You know, this is exactly what's coming for us is, you know, the, you know, people out there with these cop killer guns are going to shoot us after we do all this criminality under orders from the government. And, you know, that's, that's, um, you know, the, uh, the plan here, according to Scott Thomason, uh, a chief ATF spokesman was to just get dirt on them. You know, they, they assume that, you know, there's dirt on everybody out there. You know, they, they don't think anybody's living right. And so, you know, they, they figure like, oh, it's gotta be easy enough to just get some dirt on these guys, make them shut up. But, um, yeah, uh, that, that wasn't my impression of, uh, two of the guys anyhow, two of the guys that were testifying, they, uh, they, there were three whistleblowers, but, uh, two of the guys, they were the ones who, uh, expressed their being adamant to their commands consistently about how wrong this was, that they were letting guns walk. And, um, one of them said that, uh, his supervisor used to laugh it off, and, uh, when, when they were reading about the the murders that were committed in Mexico that the the supervisor was quote giddy about that that's what one of the ATF agents said uh, that yeah they they were celebrating the murders that were occurring in Mexico by the guns that they were walking across the border and um, yeah, so, I don't know, that's an interesting aspect of this, that these uh, ATF agents have been under attack by the ATF. Uh, apparently, nobody's been prosecuted at all for this. Nobody, like, not even the, you know, the, um, like, the lowest level uh, in the ATF that was guilty of it, you know, the, uh, like, the, the direct supervisors over these whistleblowers. Those guys, they, they actually got promoted, they got transferred and promoted... And then, um, I don't know, the, the Justice Department's involved, the um, Immig Immigrations Customs Enforcement's involved, U.S. Marshal Service involved, um, you know, there, there's even other, um, I don't know, at, one t at one point I did a, a video and I documented that there were uh, six different agencies that were involved in this drug or uh, in this gun walking scandal and um, yeah they, uh, they they haven't done anything about it nobody's been arrested nobody's been prosecuted nobody's been anything uh, Holder has been standing in the way of even turning over the documents and uh, the Congress they've just been accepting that you know that he's been um, that he's, he's been holding out on this, what's it been? I want to say it's been a whole year. Fast and Furious. Timeline. Gun running timeline. How do Department of Justice's Operation Fast and Furious unfolded. Uh, okay, uh, January 8th, 2010. Briefing paper from ATF Phoenix Division. This investigation has currently identified more than 20 individuals connected straw purchases. For the state, uh, says to date, this group has purchased in excess of 650 firearms, for which they have paid cash totally more than $350,000. Uh, uh, they're going back to 2009. Now we're going up forward to 2010 again. I don't know why they have it all in, like, you know, backward-forward order like that, but here we go. Uh, 20 December, January 2010. Acting Director Melson became aware of this 
startling possibility only after the murder of border agent Terry and the January indictments of the straw purchasers which we now know were substantially delayed by the US Attorney's Office and Maine Justice uh, says a July 5th 2011 letter and uh, from Senator Grassley so apparently um, it was about December of 2010 that they that they really started uh, researching this uh, or that the the ATF agents oh no it's even back here okay yeah no December 2010 so yeah it's been it's been like a year and a half See, uh, December 2010 to uh, December 2011, and then another five months, so a year and five months. And, um, you know, nobody's been prosecuted. They didn't even get the documents. Holder's been sitting on the documents. They didn't even indict him yet. And, um, you know, he, he's guilty of obstruction. Uh, what they're doing right now is they're... Uh, they're they're uh, writing him up for contempt but you know uh, contempt yeah you know, that's a really petty crime you know he he might do like a day in in jail for that or something like that and um, obstruction obstruction uh, it depends on what you're obstructing the the investigation of and what he's obstructing the investigation of is 60,000 murders of Mexican nationals and um yeah they're they're uh you know, to what extent that was all connected to the fast and furious situation you know and who all was guilty in in this situation uh, you know he he's preventing that from coming to light and um you know it's uh you know obviously you know uh obstruction of uh, of the investigation of 60,000 murders is a little bit heavier uh you know um it's a little bit heavier than contempt you know which just means that uh he he's not respecting congress you know he doesn't respect congress you know that's a little bit different than you know uh you know standing in the way of the investigation of 60,000 murders Yeah, um, I don't know, uh, oh yeah, and then, um, it's already known, it's already known who ordered it, and it's Obama, uh, and that was according to, uh, Deputy Attorney General, you know, there's another search I'm gonna have to put into YouTube, uh, Deputy Attorney General Obama ordered gunrunner. Here it is. Obama orders launched fast and furious. The gun running operation. And uh, you know, so um you know, very obviously you know, Obama should be impeached. He should already have been, uh, you know, this uh, this was like, this was public in, uh, he made this announcement March 24th, 2009, I want to say. I'm pretty sure. The president has directed us to take action to fight these cartels, and Attorney General Holder and I are taking several new and aggressive steps as part of the administration's comprehensive plan. Those steps include the following. DOJ's Drug Enforcement Administration, which already has the largest U.S. drug enforcement presence in Mexico, with 11 offices in that country, is placing 16 new DEA positions in southwest border field, uh, field operations, specifically to target Mexican trafficking uh, and associated violence. The DEA is also deploying four new mobile enforcement teams uh, to specifically target me Mexican methamphetamine trafficking, uh, both along the border and in U.S. cities impacted by the cartels. DOJ's Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives is increasing its efforts by adding 37 new employees in three new offices, 
using $10 million in Recovery Act funds Here it comes. and redeploying 100 personnel to the southwest border in the next 45 days to fortify its Project Gun Run, which is aimed at disrupting arms trafficking between the United States. Yeah, disrupting, or maybe just selling guns to Mexican drug lords. Uh, you know, it's also notable that the, the head of the Zeta cartel and the head of the Sinaloa cartel, they're both on the uh, CIA payroll, and uh, they're being handled by the FBI. And, uh, you know, they, they, they're still controlling their organizations at the same time that they're working with the CIA and the FBI, and uh, they're receiving guns under orders from Obama through the ATF, allowing their, their gun straw purchasers to walk. You know, uh, it, it, it's all right out there, bold in public. In, in the Congress, they won't even impeach Obama. Uh, you know, well, he, he got impeached, but it was over, like, the Libyan uh, war. But, you know, he, he should be removed from office. You know, never mind impeachment, he should be removed. You know, that, um, like, impeachment just means to levy an accusation against him. You know, there's, there's been an impeachment now against Obama, submitted to the Congress, but they put it into committee. They didn't even vote on it. Yeah, uh, the, the, the Congress, they, they are every bit as criminal as Obama.